Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my PowerPoint game tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a turn puzzle game for your PowerPoint game. Let's check out an example from my Chippendale Rescue Ranger game. All right, I hope you enjoy that little demonstration. So let's make our own turn puzzle game. Um, to do this, it's very simple. You want to open your PowerPoint presentation and you want to go to um, File and choose New Presentation. Make sure there's nothing on your slide here. And we're going to choose the Shape tool up here and we're going to choose the Square Shape. You can use whatever shape you want, but for this demonstration, we're going to use the square shape. So just draw a square shape here. And then we're going to remove the border. We don't need the border. And now we just have to make the um, the height and the width the same. So let's choose 2.2 and 2.2 here. And make sure that this is centered in the middle here. All right. And we just go to Align and Center. And now we are ready to animate, which we're just going to use one animation for this. Uh, let's open animation and we're going to choose spin animation. And we're going to repeat this process four times. And now choose uh, effect option and choose quarter spin. And now we're going to do this three more times. So click on the shape here, choose spin and then choose effect option um, quarter spin. And you want to do the same uh, for the next two animations. So let's do it again two more times. And choose quarter spin. Awesome. And let's do it one more time. All right. Now that we got our animation, uh, let's open Animation Pane. And let's give this a name. Let's go to um, Selection Pane and let's just give it a generic name. Let's call this one. And now we go back to animation here. And we're going to choose all of these animation. And let's give it a 0.5 uh, duration. And let's give it a little bounce as well. And we want to also insert a sound effects in there. So let's go to um, other sound here. And I'll put in this crank turn sound effect. And that's all you have to do. Now, uh, we want to put this under trigger uh, one. So go to trigger and choose on click and find one. And let's test it out. Awesome. Now that uh, our turn puzzle is working correctly. We're going to insert an image in there. So let's go over to format shape here, find the um, paint bucket and click on fill. And we want to scroll down to picture or texture fill. So click on that and choose any picture you want by clicking on insert. We're going to use the same uh, picture from our demo game, which is the Statue of Liberty here. And just insert it in just like that. 
And now we are going to make a copy of this. So click on that and just copy and paste. I'm using a MacBook, so I'm using um, Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And we want to do this um, nine times. So just copy and paste um, nine of these squares onto your slide. So I'm going to drag this into the center here. And I'm going to copy all three of these. Oops, and I'm just going to make a copy of all three of these uh, shape here. And just paste it and move it below the top squares there. And then we're going to do it one more time. So copy and paste and just drag it below the middle squares. Awesome. All right, that's all you have to do. And now uh, we want to make sh sure that everything is aligned here in the middle. All right, and now we are going to go to Selection Paint and then we're going to give this a name. So this one is a square nine, so just call it um, whatever um, you want, but I'm just going to call it nine and this one eight and seven. Uh, the reason why you want to give it a name is because later on, when you make your turn puzzle game, you might want to uh, put other animations um, with your uh, puzzle, or you want to add other animations later, you can do so by um, going to Animation Pane and uh, seeing your labels here, and you can add extra animations there as well. So here we have trigger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you're satisfied with the positioning of your uh, squares here, you want to click on one of the squares and choose Picture Format. And we're going to choose this Crop Tool here, and we're just going to drag the image that's inside um, in the middle or to where you're happy with the position. And once you're happy with it, uh, just let go of it, and then we're going to we're going to try the next square. So click on square two, click on crop, and we're just going to drag it to match the previous picture, just like so. And we want to do the same with square three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So click on um, picture format, go to crop, and just drag the image until it matches uh, the inner image there. And you want to do the same for each and every one of the squares. And you can use whatever picture you want. It's really up to you. You don't have to use this, um, the same picture I, I'm using. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. And we want to do it three more times. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Just, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit more here. Awesome. All right, so now we can see that we have all of our squares aligned and our picture is inside the square. Now we can um, test this out, but before that, let me just make the background here black so that you can see it a little better. All right, and now we can test out our puzzle. You can use whatever image you want, as I mentioned. Um, before this particular um, game, I'm going to use um, this Satchel Liberty. And now we're just going to rotate some of the images by going to picture format and choosing um, rotation here and just rotate a little bit here and there to make it a uh, mismatch on your slide. Super. All right. Once you're happy with your uh, image and your rotation, let's hit the play button to see what that looks like.
awesome. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this little PowerPoint game tutorial. And if you want to see more awesome PowerPoint game tutorials like this, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below so that I can check it out and see what I can do to help you guys out. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. And if you want to help out this channel even further, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. I hope you guys are having a safe and wonderful day over there. I just want to wish you the best of luck in your classes. <laughs>